Alright. What's up guys? We're back. Baby's back. There he is. And that goes back too. Alright, we're here for some more fitness. So, welcome back guys. It is Tuesday. It was a beautiful day, so I hope you went outside and did something. Um, what we have today. So, to get started, our warm-up, you are going to do one minute per station. So, we're going to do one minute of alternating step-ups to a 24 or a 20-inch object, roughly. We're just going to alternate legs, get through a nice long range of motion with the leg, get things going. After that, we're going to do one minute of inchworms to a plank. So we're just going to reach down, grab the toes, walk out to a plank, and then walk back, grab the toes. And you're just going to stay over here the entire time. So the goal is to do those at a relatively quick pace. So you're never standing up and you're just going from plank to forward fold. After that, you're going to do one minute of low object jumps. So again, a couple inches off the ground, just trying to warm up the calves, bounding. So again, getting that blood flowing in the lower body. And then lastly, you're going to do a minute of plank up downs. So just down, to a plank, back up and clap. So a nice little heart rate spiker to get things going. And then after that, you're going to do 20 soldier walks on each side. So again, that's going to be straight leg. Kick up, stretch out the hamstring, switch legs, same thing on the other side. 20 per side, so 40 total. Then when you're done, you're gonna do 10 very slow wall squats. So against the wall, in a normal squat stance, hands are gonna be out in a snatch grip, so nice and wide. I'm gonna keep my elbows locked out. I'm gonna send my hips down and back, press the knees out till I get below parallel, and then stand up nice and slowly as well. And again, you're going to do 10 of those at a slow pace. So, that's warm up. Now, for your strength work, you're going to do three sets. You're going to do six single leg deadlifts, followed by six windmills. So the single leg deadlift, again, we've been using these a lot, so hopefully you guys are getting really good at balance, and you're getting awesome positions on one leg. So for the single leg deadlift, opposite leg stays relatively straight, reaches for the room behind me, Back stays nice and flat, shoulder stays pinned until I feel a good stretch in the hamstring, object stays off the ground, and then I squeeze back up. Six on one side, then you're gonna go into six windmills. It doesn't really matter which side you pair this with, just obviously make sure you hit both sides. So for the windmill, what we're looking to do, the arm that's loaded, that toe points out slightly. So again, uh, I'm gonna have my right arm holding weight, my right leg pointed out slightly. Pretend my arm is locked out because that's what would be happening if the ceiling weren't here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this object straight up to the sky as I hinge my hips back, keep my legs straight, and reach up to the sky as best as I can. Notice in the bottom, my shoulder has naturally internally rotated a little bit, and that's okay. As I stand up, it's going to reorient to a solid overhead locked out position, which we're going to call external rotation. So again, at the top, externally rotated, shoulder is good. As I hinge, shoulder is going to rotate naturally as I reach up to the sky, touch my uh, hand to my foot, and then stand back up. And I'm going to do that for six reps on one side, six reps on the other side. <clears throat> Again, six single leg deadlifts, followed by six windmills. Then you will switch to the other leg, do six single leg deadlifts. Switch to the other arm, do six single, or sorry, not single leg windmills. Do six windmills, and you're going to do that for three rounds. And that's going to be your strength work for the day. And again, you can use kettlebells, dumbbells, odd objects, whatever you got at home, load it up for the windmills. Uh, you can use lighter objects. Again, backpacks are going to be a great way to go between, you know, no weight and your kettlebell or your dumbbell that you probably have at home. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, your workout for the day is awesome. There's a little bit of a, uh, you get rewarded for doing super fast fitness. So how this is going to work, every three minutes for five rounds, you're going to do 12 or 8 calories on a machine if you have one. If you don't have one, you're going to do 30 seconds of high knees. You're then going to do 12 power snatches. RX weight's 95-65 for the guys, for the ladies. And then 12 lateral burpees over your bar or over your dumbbell. 
So a couple things that I wanna talk about as far as movements go before you go through stimulus. Again, if you don't have a machine, you're doing 30 seconds of high knees. So just high knees in place. But I want you to go real high knees, like jam them up there, try and stay on your toes, really spike that heart rate the way you would. You know, because again, if we were in the gym, I'm gonna go ahead and give you three seconds to guess what machine we'll be doing this on. It's the assault bike. So again, we're looking for something that would really elevate the heart rate and fatigue you, and the high knees, if you do them appropriately, will not be the same as an assault bike, but again, they'll get the heart rate up. Uh, for the power snatches, if you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you're still gonna perform 12 reps, six on each side. You can alternate arms every rep, so nothing too confusing or groundbreaking there. And then for the burpees, you're gonna go lateral over your object. If you're jumping over a kettlebell, make sure you lay it down so that you don't trip over it. But again, if my barbell were here, I'm gonna go down, chest to the deck, and then jump to the other side. I don't have to reach full extension as I go over. That's perfectly fine. Now, scaling and RX plus. So, first thing, if you finish your round under two minutes, the next round, you add a rep to the power snatches and the bar facing or the lateral burpees over bar. So if round one, you go sub two, on the next round, you will do your 30 seconds of high knees and then 13 and 13 reps. If you go sub two again, in the next round, you will do your 30 seconds of high knees and then 14 and 14 reps. So this workout will punish you for going fast, which I think is awesome. So keep that in mind. Um, now, a couple other things uh, that we can do. So if you're concerned about getting done under the two minute mark, so again, the general goal would be to finish in the low twos. So get this work done, you know, 215 or so, so that you have some rest, you're working at a high intensity, so, but, so you need that little bit of time off. Um, <clears throat> but if you're concerned that you can't do this under two minutes and 15 seconds, then start with a lower number of burpees. Let's say that you start with six. So you do your 30 seconds of high knees, you do 12 power snatches, and then you're gonna do six burpees over the bar. If you finish under two minutes, fantastic. The next round you'll do seven, and you'll do the exact same scheme. So if you finish under two minutes, you'll add a rep to the burpees, add a rep to the snatches. If you don't, you just keep the reps the same, and you try and get through that work. So that's a, the primary way that I would say that you would scale this. Uh, so after that, our accessory work for the day, We've got three sets. You're gonna do eight to 12 good mornings. So you can hold an object in the front rack or you can back rack the barbell, it's up to you. But again, feet are gonna be in a deadlift stance right under the hips, knees are soft. And then I'm just pressing my hips back until I feel a stretch in the hamstrings and then squeezing back up. Something to keep in mind, when you do a good morning, you wanna be in an athletic stance. So I don't wanna be super stiff with my weight coming out in front of me. I wanna have soft knees and I wanna really kind of sit into my hamstrings. So I wanna press my hips back, really engage the hamstrings, keep the shins vertical, so that that barbell stays essentially just in front of my center of mass. Nothing too crazy though. And then you're gonna do 20 seated leg lifts. So for these, this is often a drill that we use at the gym to warm up for a toaster bar or to warm up for L-sits. So I'm gonna do my straight leg raises. So again, you can start by having your hands back above your knees. This is gonna be the easiest variation. And I'm gonna go for straight leg lifts, just getting as high as I can. And if you wanna make it a little more challenging, hands can come down around the knees. And if you wanna make it more challenging, you can have your feet come up and over an object. So you can set an object down on the ground, drop it, hey, drop it, drop. So you can set an object on the ground, leave it. And you can go up and over said object. So again, you can make it more challenging by doing that as well. And you're gonna do, th there you go, thank you, good girl. So you're gonna do three rounds of that. So eight to 12 good mornings, and then 20 of those seated leg lifts. After that, all we have left is a two minute seated straddle, and then a one minute figure four stretch. So for the seated straddle, legs are gonna go out nice and wide, and I'm just gonna come down the middle here, again, targeting my groin and my hamstrings. Then I'm gonna do a figure four, which is gonna, again, excuse me, target my hamstring but also target my low back and my QL. So I'm gonna reach off and side bend a little bit and open up that lower part of my, oh, excuse me, my back as well. So that is our training for Tuesday. Enjoy, get after it. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, so get outside again. And tag us, Forge Wazoos, Palace.Ithaca, Crossing Queens, and we will see you guys back tomorrow.